going to be bold colors, uh, purples, pinks, and uh, deep blacks, and all of that combined with a hot pink mouth. Hi, I'm Pallavi Simmons, your makeup expert with Glamorous.com. We have with us the lovely Diandra Suarez. She's a pet savior, humanitarian, straight talker, daredevil. Both of us happen to be makeup artists and we decided that it's time for all the seriousness to be put in the past for just a little bit. It's going to be bold colors, uh, purples, pinks and uh, deep blacks and all of that combined with a hot pink mouth. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So I'm going to use the usual setting powder that I tend to choose. It's a yellow powder by Inglot and I'm putting it on her cheekbone because I'm going to have eye makeup come down all the way. I'm using a Studio Finish Concealer by MAC, which is nice and thick and creamy. The reason I'm using a concealer is because it's got thicker density. And I would prefer if you used a concealer that's lighter than your skin, so it plays the role of a primer. I'm using this cream color eyeshadow by Maybelline, Color Tattoo by Eye Studio. I'm gonna use this color on both eyes as a base. I'm not following any specific shape, so essentially I'm going to just paint all over. I'm using a color bar trio of eyeshadows. Trio is called Gorgeous Purple, but I'm only using the darker aubergine in it. So as you can see, I'm gonna leave the inner corner light purple. I'm blending the color in a little heavier in the crease because I want a good hit of purple in the crease. Now I'm proceeding to use an Inglot Freedom System a palette of blush, brow color, black, and pink eyeshadows. Just a hit of some of this lovely neon pink right here. What I'm going to do is just softly blend this in and upwards. So there's a blend of the purple with the pink going into her brow bone and above. Now to intensify the purple, I'm going in with a little bit of army kind of blue color. It's called Prussian, it's by MAC. And this I'm going to just take right there into the crease so I get a little dimension. It's a matte color and whereas you saw that the purple was not matte. Not going too far into the eye. Notice what this has done is the Colors are blended in and there's a nice rich purple coming through right there. Before I progress on to adding any more color, I'm going to do the bottom of the eye so I get an idea of how far below I want to take this eye makeup. So for that, I'm going to use a black pencil by MAC. It's called Smolder. I'm going to go quite rough. So beginning with the inner eye. I'm just going to blend that quite roughly downwards like in a flapper girl look something like the 30s Hollywood. So you'll see quite a low smudge of the kajal. I'm going to use from the Inglot's Freedom System the black eyeshadow in the absolute corner of her eyes. Like I said, there's no method to this madness. You can add the colors as you go and as you please. Well, this is a look that will take some time and I do a fair amount of blending. Dai is just going to finish up her lips as well, so I'm going to let her do it. Chromographic pencil is one that lasts a while. And the color is called Process Magenta. This is the pigment I'm using from MAC. So just layered on the chromographic pencil in Process Magenta with the magenta pigment, just to create a velvety matte texture. As a continuation of the eye makeup, I haven't changed the colors much. I've just blended in the purple with the black and the hot pink. And I've worked the color across over her brow bone and on her cheekbone as well. And then softly blended the very same pink into a soft blush. So it's basically a continuous blend of products till you create the right shape. And what I've simply done is enhanced her cheekbones and picked up on the kind of grooves on the sides, like the temples of her face. So that's our makeup completed. It's fully out there, out of the box, colorful makeup. I like it, I think it's really fab, I think it's wild, it's a little out of the box. This is a cool look to experiment with in the party season. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please follow us on Pinterest and Twitter at Be Glamorous and stay tuned and stay glamorous.